five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power and list off. Go Falcon. They say some secrets are best left undisturbed, but when an interstellar comet named 3I Atlas zipped into our solar system, a bold, unannounced mission reportedly unfolded. It doesn't look like a very common thing, and we've never seen such a thing. A Falcon 9 rocket launched not to orbit Earth, but to confront this alien traveler head on. What happened next stunned everyone, from the engineers at SpaceX to global defense strategists. To put it mildly, the data pouring back wasn't just unexpected, it was paradigm shifting. This encounter cracked open a Pandora's box of cosmic possibilities, hinting at truths far stranger than fiction. The Falcon 9's Daring Gambit For the very first time in recorded history, a Falcon 9 rocket was reportedly given a target not from our familiar solar system. It was aimed at an interstellar visitor, the enigmatic comet 3I Atlas, an object speeding through space at over 150,000 miles per hour. This wasn't just another launch, it was an alleged chase of cosmic proportions, an unprecedented attempt to reach across the vastness of interstellar space. And what followed left scientists, military analysts, and even historians asking a singular unsettling question. What exactly just happened out there? It's called 3I Atlas, and its journey began around a star far, far away. This isn't an asteroid, nor is it a comet that calls our sun home. This is an interstellar wanderer, the third confirmed object of its kind after Oumuamua and Borisov. But here's where things get wild. The thing nobody tells you. Multiple sources claim SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 specifically to intercept this cosmic visitor. This wasn't just about studying a comet, it was about whether we were witnessing humanity's first true attempt to make contact with something truly alien to our solar system. Think about that for a second. We're talking about humanity actively chasing down an object that traveled here from beyond our sun's gravitational pull, potentially carrying secrets from another stellar neighborhood billions of years old. The timing, to put it mildly, was incredibly precise. Comet 3I Atlas was first spotted on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Chile, a powerful array of telescopes designed to hunt for near-Earth objects. Within weeks, hushed rumors began to circulate about an unscheduled Falcon 9 mission. There was no official announcement, no fanfare, no press release from SpaceX or NASA. Just whispers in the tight-knit space community about a rocket heading towards something moving faster than anything we'd ever tried to catch. The secrecy only fueled the growing intrigue, adding layers to what would become one of the most talked about events in modern space exploration. What makes this alleged mission even more incredible is the sheer mind-boggling physics involved. This interstellar visitor is moving at such breakneck speeds, estimated to accelerate to 152,000 miles per hour as it nears our sun, that catching it should be virtually impossible with our current technology. It's like trying to hit a speeding bullet with another speeding bullet, but across distances of millions of miles. Yet somehow, somewhere in the depths of SpaceX's mission planning, someone apparently thought they could pull it off. This audacity alone is a wow factor that defies belief, showcasing the relentless ambition of modern space pioneers. But here's what truly got everyone talking, what truly stunned mission control. What if they actually succeeded? What if, for the first time in human history, we've made some form of contact with something truly alien to our solar system? The implications of such an event would reshape everything we thought we knew about space exploration, planetary defense, and our fundamental place in the cosmic neighborhood. It would be a moment of reckoning, forcing us to reconsider our scientific models, our philosophical beliefs, and even our understanding of life itself. This story gets even more explosive when you consider the deeper context. Falcon 9 rockets routinely carry classified payloads for the United States Space Force. These aren't just your everyday satellite deployments. We're talking about experimental technology, often highly advanced, that never gets announced to the public. Defense analysts are now asking a chilling question, one that could redefine national security. Could this intercept mission have doubled as a Space Force test for planetary defense? Think about it. An interstellar object moving at impossible speeds presents the perfect target practice. 
How do you track something that fast? How do you communicate with it? How do you even know if your signals are getting through? Many people are crazy about scenarios involving protecting our planet, and this mission potentially offered a real-world test like no other. Some experts believe this could have been a dry run, not to physically impact 3i Atlas, but to see how a fast-moving interstellar body reacts to directed signals. Lasers, particle beams, even experimental communication arrays that we don't know exist yet. The possibilities are endless and terrifying. This wasn't about destruction, but about understanding, about gathering crucial data on how to interact with an object that simply shouldn't be here. The insights gained from such a test would be invaluable for future planetary defense strategies, especially if the next interstellar visitor poses a genuine threat. This event makes us wonder what other clandestine tests are happening above our heads right now. Alien Chemistry and Earth's Mysterious Pulse but the science angle to this alleged mission is even more mind-blowing. Multiple credible sources suggest the Falcon 9 may have carried microprobes, miniature scientific instruments, not to impact 3i Atlas directly, but to dust sample its coma. That's the glowing cloud of gas and debris streaming behind the comet like a cosmic tail. Why would anyone risk such a dangerous and expensive mission just for dust samples? because 3i Atlas could contain isotopic ratios never before seen anywhere in our own solar system. We're talking about clues to alien chemistry, elements that formed around a different star under different conditions billions of years ago. Imagine you could hold a piece of matter from another star in your hand. Different atoms, different ratios, stuff older than Earth itself. That's what scientists dream of, and maybe, just maybe, this mission was the first step toward making that dream a reality. The implications are staggering. If we could analyze interstellar material, we'd unlock profound secrets about how other solar systems form. We'd discover whether the fundamental building blocks of life are truly universal, existing across galaxies, not just in our little corner of the cosmos. We might even find evidence of processes that don't exist anywhere near our sun, totally new ways matter behaves. What many overlooked is the sheer potential for discovery this mission represented, a chance to touch the very essence of alien worlds. And you can see this everywhere in the excitement of researchers whenever a new interstellar object is even glimpsed. And if that's not enough to send shivers down your spine, the alleged mission lines up with something even stranger. Earth's magnetic field, our planet's invisible shield, reportedly spiked exactly as the Falcon 9's path crossed 3 I Atlas's trajectory. Could this have been the signature of an experimental beam directed toward Atlas, some kind of powerful energy test that left electromagnetic ripples in Earth's protective barrier? The magnetosphere is incredibly sensitive to high-energy events. If someone fired experimental technology toward an interstellar target, we'd expect exactly this kind of signature. For the first time, an interstellar object may have left its fingerprint on Earth's own magnetic shield. That's not just fascinating, it's revolutionary. The thing nobody tells you is how vulnerable our planet is to certain energy fluctuations, and this event potentially highlighted that. This magnetic pulse suggests a deeper, more profound interaction than a simple flyby. This anomaly sparks a crucial question. Was this a natural solar event that just happened to coincide with the mission timeline, a cosmic fluke? Or was it something triggered directly by the intercept attempt, a silent scream of energy echoing through space? The truth, still shrouded in mystery, has researchers working tirelessly to decipher the magnetosphere's peculiar pulse. This event opens up possibilities of unknown forces at play forces that could change our understanding of cosmic interactions. A new interstellar frontier. Here's where this story takes an absolutely mind-bending turn. Researchers have reportedly discovered that 3i Atlas's entry angle nearly mirrors ancient solstice alignments at sites like Machu Picchu in Peru and Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. We're talking about precision that shouldn't be possible by random chance. These aren't just any ancient sites. Machu Picchu's astronomical alignments track celestial events with mathematical perfection, revealing an astonishing understanding of the cosmos by the Inca civilization. 
Gobekli Tepe, built over 11,000 years ago, contains massive stone pillars that point to specific star patterns predating even the invention of agriculture. And now, an interstellar visitor arrives following what appears to be the exact same geometric path. The most shocking fact is this coincidence becomes even stranger when you dive into historical texts. Biblical descriptions of wandering stars eerily resemble how 3 I Atlas cut through the Mars-Jupiter resonance, a gravitational sweet spot in our solar system. Ancient astronomers in various cultures wrote about bright objects that appeared suddenly, moved against the familiar star field, then vanished forever. It's as if humanity has seen visitors like this before and left warnings written in stone. These weren't random observations. Ancient civilizations built massive monuments to track and remember these cosmic events. Picture this, ancient astronomer priests looking up, recording a bright, impossible star crossing the sky. They carved its path into stone, aligned their temples to its trajectory, and passed down stories through generations. And now, thousands of years later, our rockets may be chasing the very same type of visitor. This suggests a cyclical pattern, a cosmic calendar that our ancestors somehow understood. What many overlooked is the sophisticated astronomical knowledge held by these early civilizations. This raises a terrifying possibility. What if interstellar objects like 3 I Atlas arrive on predictable cycles? What if ancient cultures knew something we are only now rediscovering? The alignment data suggests these visits might not be random cosmic accidents. Some researchers believe ancient astronomical records could help predict future interstellar arrivals. If true, we might have advanced warning systems built right into humanity's oldest monuments. But not all things are what they seem, and interpreting ancient text is a challenging task. But if this was just history repeating itself, why did scientists consider firing Juno, the Jupiter probe, straight at the answer? The revelation of this desperate plan reveals just how committed the scientific community has become to catching an interstellar visitor. NASA researchers actually proposed redirecting the Juno probe, a billion-dollar mission currently orbiting Jupiter, from its primary mission to intercept 3I Atlas. This isn't speculation. The proposal exists in peer-reviewed scientific papers. Could the Falcon 9 mission have been a test run for exactly this kind of desperate maneuver, a way to gather data before risking a more valuable asset? Maybe they didn't try to physically reach Atlas in a direct impact. Maybe they simply tagged it with a CubeSat beacon, a tiny satellite designed to emit a signal so telescopes worldwide could track it with unprecedented precision. Think about the strategy here. You can't catch something moving at 150,000 miles per hour with conventional rockets, but you could mark it. A small beacon deployed in Atlas's path would create a permanent tracking signature. Every major telescope on Earth could then monitor this interstellar visitor with surgical accuracy. Or this could be just the first, perhaps failed, attempt with a second try already hidden inside upcoming launches. SpaceX has Mars, Artemis supply missions, and constant Starlink deployments scheduled. Any of these could carry classified payloads designed for interstellar intercept. The Juno proposal proves that space agencies are seriously considering redirecting existing missions for interstellar targets. If scientists are willing to sacrifice a billion-dollar Jupiter probe, why not test the waters with a Falcon 9 first? A new era of readiness. Let's ground this story in the facts everyone agrees on. Comet 3I Atlas was discovered on July 1st, 2025. It's the third confirmed interstellar object and it's a giant measuring up to 6.2 miles across. To put it mildly, it dwarfs previous visitors like Oumuamua. It's also incredibly fast, currently moving at about 130,000 miles per hour. While it poses no collision risk to Earth, its cometary behavior offers a once-in-history opportunity. The thing nobody tells you is, how often do we get a chance to test our technology against something from another star? The answer was never until now. This is where the alleged Falcon 9 intercept mission comes into play, sparking theories that go far beyond simple exploration. You see, this isn't just a story. There are tangible clues, like the magnetosphere anomalies detected right around the supposed intercept window, giving physical evidence to this cosmic puzzle. 
Some even point to ancient alignments, suggesting a cultural memory of interstellar visitors stretching back thousands of years, a profound link between our distant past and this very moment. This isn't just about one comet anymore, it's about establishing a cosmic playbook for every interstellar object that follows. What many overlooked is what this means for humanity. For the first time, we're not just passive observers. We're actively engaging with cosmic visitors, testing our limits against the vast unknown. The implications are staggering. Planetary defense now has a new category of objects to track. Astrobiology gains potential access to pristine samples from other star systems, offering unprecedented insights into alien chemistry. This moment represents a fundamental shift in our relationship with the cosmos. We are no longer confined to our solar system, we're players in the interstellar game. Was this a desperate act or a calculated first step for humanity? What do you believe truly happened out there? Like and subscribe to uncover more cosmic mysteries.